purpose of this video is to show how to use the TI calculator in order to solve a complex system of equations. Any calculator before the 10i89, you cannot put complex numbers in the matrix in order to solve for a simultaneous system of equations, such as by using the reduced row echelon form. But there is a program that a user has made and uploaded to the TI website that will do this, and the program is called Lensis. So we're going to show how to use Lensis in order to solve the following system of equations. Lensis uses Kramer's rule in order to solve any system of equations. So the way it does that, for example, if you have a matrix A11, A12, A21, A22, and that equals B1 and B2, and assume the, the variables are X and Y, then to solve for x, x would be equal to the determinant of b1, a12, b2, a22, over the determinant of a11, a12, a21, a22. Similarly, y would be equal to the determinant of a11, b1, a21, b2, over the determinant of A11, A12, A21, A22. So in the Lenses program, what you want to do is to write these two system of equations as a matrix. And what you do in the program, it asks the number of variables or the number of equations. So for this one, it would be two. And if you create the matrix, the first column is the coefficient on, on V1. The second column is the coefficients on V2. The first row is the first equation. The second row is the second equation. So the program asks for A1, and that is the first equation, first coefficient. So that's going to be 1, V1, minus 1, V2, and that equals 20, angle 60 degrees. For the second equation, the coefficients on V1 are 1 over 4 plus 1 over J4. And the coefficients on V2 is 1 over negative J. And the constant moved to the other side of the equal sign is 5 with an angle of 15 degrees plus 15 over 4. And once you put this in that lenses program, you should get the answers 18 angle 56 degrees and 2.31 angle negative 89 degrees. But let's go take a look at it on the calculator. First, you select the lenses program under the program menu on the calculator. And then you should see this screen coming up showing that the program was indeed selected. Next, you set the number of variables to two or the number of equations and unknowns to two. And then you put in a one for A1. You put in negative one for A2 and 20 e to the i, 60 pi over 180 for B. Note in the TI calculator, you have to always enter the angle in radians. So you have to do 60 pi over 180. So now for the second equation, a1 is 1 fourth plus 1 over j4, a2 is 1 over negative j, and b is 5 with an angle of 15 degrees plus 15 over 4. So now you select polar because you want the answer in polar form. So the magnitude of v1 is 18.065. Scroll to the right, and the angle for v1 is 56 degrees. Scroll to the right, and the magnitude for V2 is 2.31. Scroll to the right, and the angle is negative 89 degrees. 